yo what's good youtube it's your boy Kree here and today i'm gonna giving y'all a tutorial on how to edit a 5m ready chain this means how you can put a ytd i mean a ydd inside of blender just like that and you can edit it to your liking or take whatever you want from it now i've been gone for two months on the youtube side i've been really active on my discord but on the youtube side i've been um inactive i guess um uh, it's been two months and if you know i said i was gonna be consistent this year it's been two damn months bro so you know what? i gotta keep these tutorials coming and that's exactly what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just keep it in y'all with bangers and everything that's enough of me yapping though uh let's get right into the tutorial all right so basically first off what you're gonna want to do is you know grab everything you need first before you even open up blender or think about opening up blender so first what you're gonna need is <clears throat> open up discord i'm gonna leave the code walker discord inside of my description of this video so go check that out <clears throat> once you join you'll be on this screen you should go to releases and then you're gonna download code walker 30 underscore dev 48 and releases uh just download that i've already downloaded it but for the sake of the video i will be i will be showing you guys how to do it so basically uh make sure you have a 7-zip or winwar i prefer winwar it's just the greatest honestly make a folder somewhere uh where you know you're gonna like use these things so i made a i made a uh, folder for the sake of this video tutorial I have the chain file in here ydd ytd 5m ready of course you're gonna make a new one. Oh no don't make a new one just drag just drag the code walker 30 underscore def 48 <coughs> boom you're done you can close this now and that's all you needed from that <coughs> now basically after you're done with that what you're gonna need to do is go to solemns uh you should be prompted with a github if you if you just search up solemns i'll just leave it i'll leave this in the description as well but you can just go to any browser and search up Solemns. Uh, it should be the GitHub. And it'll take you to this page. Once you're on this page, on the bottom right, look at releases. Go to the latest. Uh, go down to where it says uh, contributed or assets. Download the Solemns.zip. Now, this one is a little different. You're not going to open it. You're not going to extract it. None of that. You're going to go right into Blender. A couple things I'm going to show you guys in Blender. Um, <clears throat> I've shown this in previous videos. But sometimes, like if it's your first time watching, you're going to need the help go to edit preferences input and turn on emulate numpad now once you got that you're gonna want to go add-ons i mean this is on the latest version of blender 4.4.1 you're gonna go here on a down arrow install from disk go to downloads go to date modified and it'll give you today's you're gonna double click this and install from disk gonna install you're just gonna have to search up here solemns and you're just gonna have to turn it on and that's it that's the setup and that's all you're gonna need and then now we can move forward with what we have to do <clears throat> now that we have that now you're gonna go inside your code walker folder and go into the rpf explorer i already have a location for the rpf explorer so it's in my learners package uh-huh rpf explorer it's right here uh turn on edit mode i'm gonna give you guys another tip right now so go to options and press start in edit mode so every time you do open up code walker it's gonna start up in edit mode now you're on this screen file open folder and then you're gonna go to that uh tutorial folder that you did make or any folder that has a 5m ready chain as you can see chain file not going to show nothing because you do have to select the folder so here it's a 5m ready chain as you can see boom boom this all right so what you do here click it left click it once make sure it's highlighted right click uh then you're gonna do export xml gonna go to that folder make another okay so you're here right click new folder name it import import and this would just be the um you select the folder right here cool that's all you had to do so now you can minimize this minimize this and whatever you have go inside a blender go to file import code walker xml 
go to where you see um where you made that folder go uh what a tutorial uh import and it's this right here um it'll be this the xml import that give some time to load and there you go you have the chain right here and then you could just really just like how you make your own chain edit mode all that <clears throat> but yeah that's how you do it and then you can just edit how you want it and yeah you have the chain inside of blender so if this tutorial is useful please leave a like and subscribe please i'd much appreciate it and i hope i just helped a bunch of people because this was a pain in the ass when i first started doing chains and i know there's still a lot of people who are barely getting into chains and i know it's a pain in the ass to start over and i disliked starting over every single time but this is really how you do it and another word of device before you export out of blender before you close blender make sure you save the blend file not gonna lie make sure you just save the blend file so go to file save as and just save the blend file and then you can close blender so just in case you do mess up and need to go back boom it's right there but this is for the people that did know that already so yeah like i said i hope you guys did enjoy please like and subscribe i'll see you guys next tutorial because i do got some bangers coming up and i do get some a lot of more informative videos coming up sooner or later but yeah peace